David, I know you're a long-term investor and not somebody who looks at, at many of these day-to-day -day moves, but yesterday was pretty weird, especially when you looked at cryptocurrency, a decline of 46% for Ethereum. I mean, you feel moves like that and you wonder how much froth has built up in the markets. Um, you wonder how much momentum has been driving things. And what, 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 what would you take right. away? Even as a long-term investor, you have to pay attention to some of these moves. Well, remember, crypto has come from nowhere to be a force in the market. It's, uh, in effect, a gold substitute for some. And I have uh, invested in not cryptocurrencies myself, but in things that uh, I would say facilitate the trading of it in various companies that are helping to um, uh, trade or make it easier for people to be involved with cryptocurrency. And I did that in part because I think it's here to stay. Cryptocurrency is not going away, uh, just like gold is not going away. So yes, it had its ups and downs and yesterday was not a good day for it, but that's true of anything that is relatively new. And I don't think you're gonna see anything like crypto going away and, and disappearing. It's, it's here and it's here because people in the market want something other than just the traditional currencies that we've had. And whether that's right or wrong, it's, it's clearly something that the market wants. So yes, it, if you go into cryptocurrencies, you should expect big ups and downs and big uh, fluctuations. And if you're not prepared for that, don't go into cryptocurrency. But the idea that cryptocurrency is going to go away or that the government is going to make, be able to stop cryptocurrency from being something investors want, I think is unrealistic at this point. Well, e even if you're looking at some of those trading apparatuses for it, Coinbase, I think, is down 40 percent from its initial public offering at the middle of last month. I mean, that's pretty volatile, too. too. I'm, I'm not sure if Coinbase is the one that you're investing in that you were talking about, but that volatility plays out all the way across. Yes, yeah, so of course, the markets are volatile in that area, and but Coinbase's market cap is still relatively very, very high for a company that's relatively young. So I don't think a lot of people um, are, are worried that, crypto, that Coinbase is going to be in trouble in any significant way. The market uh, fluctuates a bit on things like that, and Coinbase reflects that. But I, I, I wouldn't worry about it as much as, as I, I think some people have, and who are day traders are worrying about it. I do think it's, uh, it's a good company. It's likely to be around for quite some time, and it, it does provide a service. So again, if you think cryptocurrencies are, are, are inappropriate or not something that's consistent with the way we operate our economy, then don't invest in it. But I do think it's a good substitute for some people to have uh, some different type of uh, uh, investment other than the traditional investments. And I think it's going to be here for a while. And many people increasingly are looking at investing in this for some percentage of their portfolio. Is Coinbase the one you invested in or did you invest no. in different ones? No, I made an investment in a, in a privately held company. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.